actually kind of cute. Can't wait to jump right in there. Do a front flip. <laughs> wait, I thought you said you were going for the elegant way. Is that the soft way? That was nice and elegant. I feel like a on Yeah, I was going to say. That's fine. We're going back to the boat and get some. I actually And it not being salty as well. You have to work so much harder. Love it. Oh, I thought that was going to roll Ooh, about. So welcome to Khao Sok. So we actually arrived in Khao Sok yesterday. We came from Phuket and we got a bus. It's actually only a three hour drive, but it took about six hours in the end. Long story short, it was an expensive and long journey. I think we ended up paying 800 baht per person for this bus journey, which is a lot of money for a bus in Thailand. And that took us just into Khao Sok town last night. We were looking online before at doing a tour on Khao Sok. We knew this was always gonna be in our Thailand itinerary, but we weren't really sure how to go about it. Initially, I was looking at booking a tour online and just coming and doing it straight away. But then we spoke to a few of our traveler friends and they said, come to the Koh Sok area and stay in the town for a night. Then you can go and talk to all the hostels and book something through them because it's a lot easier and you get more information out of it. We just stayed at a cheap hotel. <laughs> 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 so we just stayed in a hotel for last night. It was actually a really comfy hotel called Kosok Nature Park. And it was like nine pounds each per night. So basically the same price as the hostels there anyway. We then went to some of the hostels and we got the information about booking a tour. And we ended up booking this one, which was with Chillax Hostel in Kosok. So we are currently on a one night, two day tour of the Kosok National Park. It's essentially actually only 24 hours by the time you get here and by the time you get back tomorrow. But we're staying in these cute little hostels right on the waterfront with a big group. I think there's probably around 20 of us. So we're just about to head out on our first trek. I think we're going up to a cave. We're doing like a bit of a cave trek today. I stupidly didn't bring my GoPro and I think there is water in the cave. So I'm not sure how much I'm actually gonna be able to film, but we're just gonna get deeted up now, get ready to go. And then we're off on our first adventure. Khao Sok National Park is located in the Suratani province of South Thailand and covers up to a huge area of 739 square kilometers. The area in which it lies was sculpted during the same tectonic shift that created the Himalayan mountains. The national park boasts the beautiful Chao Lan Lake and gives off a similar picturesque scene such as Halong Bay in Vietnam. The lake stretches over an area of 165 kilometers squared with great peaks of limestone poking from its surface. Khao Sok National Park consists of a total of 70% rainforest and 30% scrub and vegetation. The rainforest in this region is one of the oldest in the world and it's even believed to be older than the Amazon rainforest. The national park is also home to a huge variety of wildlife, including 311 species of bird, 48 species of mammal, 30 plus species of bats, countless insects and reptiles, endangered tigers, and it's also estimated to have around 200 wild Asian elephants. How's it going? 1.5 Ks. So yeah, it's good. It's nice and cool. Yeah, it is. Um, We're having to do a lot of water walking, so it's actually keeping us pretty refreshed. But obviously with that comes leeches, so we're just being really careful. Yeah. Follow me, follow me, go in the water. Oh! Carefully, follow me. Crazy. So good where you're stepping. It's cold as well, it's so cold. I feel like I'm unlocking this fear before I even knew I had it. Oh, oh <laughs> someone okay? just fallen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets deeper here. Two hours later. 
<laughs> Jesus. Pretty wonky. Oh, that was better than I thought. <laughs> do, ba do, ba do, ba do, ba do, ba do, ba do. So we made it out of our little jungle trek. It was actually really fun. As you guys know, I'm not much of a walker, I'm not much of a trekker, and I normally hate that stuff, but we were with a good group and it went pretty quickly. I think it was about an hour or an hour and a half to the cave, and then we were in the cave like 10 minutes and then like an hour or an hour and a half back. We've got a bit of free time now, we're just all sort of chilling in the lake, and then we are going out in like an hour's time for a little night cruise down the river on the boat. We're feeling very happy and content right now. It's such a beautiful place, like just a beautiful location, gorgeous little setting to sleep at tonight. I'm just happy to be here. And unfortunately, it's time to leave Kosok National Park. This morning, we didn't actually get to see anything really on our river tour. We did see a couple of lizards, but that was about it. Unfortunately, and no wild elephants, no wild tigers. But all in all, it's been a really lovely day here. We've met some really nice people and we've had just the time of our lives in this beautiful setting. So peace out, Kosok National Park. <laughs> Right now we're just on our way back to Kosok town from obviously our overnight stay on the river. But we are just stopping for our final lunch stop at a beautiful viewpoint apparently. I actually didn't even know this was part of the itinerary. So hopefully this will be a quite nice little lunch spot. I'll give you one quick guess as to what our lunch is right now. If you said rice, you new, were correct. <laughs> Stunning. You good back there? Yeah. <laughs> Hello from Lucy in the future. This is um, quite a few weeks later now since we've been to Kalsok. I've just been editing this vlog and I realized that I actually never even included the price of the trip, which is unlike me. I'm normally on top of saying the prices of things. Oh my God, this little friend here needs to go. So for the one day, one night experience on Kalsok National Park, we paid 2,500 baht per person, which pretty much is the standard going rate. You can definitely find more expensive experiences, but for the lower end of things, that's kind of, you don't really find much lower than that. We went to quite a few different hostels in the area and we did our research online and it was pretty much all the same price. So we ended up just booking it. The 2,500 baht includes the transport to and from Kalsok Sock Town, so pick up from your hotel or your hostel or wherever you're staying and drops you back there as well. It also includes obviously the bungalows for the night, all the activities that you get up to whilst you're there, the use of things like kayaks if you wanted to do it, two lunches, dinner and breakfast. I don't know the exact company that we booked ours with actually. I think to be honest if you book it in any of the hotels or hostels in the Kalsok area then you're probably booking onto the same tour that we did anyway. I think I did say this in the video but we booked our with Chillax Hostel in the end just because it was the closest one to where we were staying. All in all, I would say, how much is 2,500 baht? 57 quid. So 2,500 baht is equivalent to around 57 pounds and I would say it's worth it. It's obviously a little bit expensive for our average sort of daily budget, but just being there in the national park was really, really beautiful. It was definitely an unforgettable, an unforget- Alphabetical. <laughs> It was definitely an unforgettable experience and it was something that was definitely on our Thailand bucket list so I'm really glad we did it. Obviously it would have been probably more worthwhile if we had been able to see the wild elephants but that's not anyone's fault, it's just not really the season. So yeah, unfortunately we didn't get to see those but all in all I'd say it's definitely an experience worth doing. If you're ever in Khao Sok or in Thailand you should definitely add that to your list. And that is all the information to round up the end of this video. Thank you so so much if you've made it this far. If you did enjoy watching 
watching please give us a big thumbs up leave us a comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already if you have no idea who we are and you're watching us for the first time my name is lucy this is my fiance callum we are currently backpacking southeast asia i've been vlogging the whole journey so far so click here to watch the rest of the videos if you want to but for now i'm going to leave this one here so thank you once again for watching and i really hope to see you in the next one soon bye Thank you.